You remember Patrick from the first video in this lesson? I've invited him here to talk a little bit about camera use. Cheers. Can you tell us a little bit about how you use depth of field in storytelling? So the one that has the, that depth of field is part of the storytelling is a, is a short film that I worked on called The Blue Umbrella. Uh, when the director, Sashka, uh, approached me about doing the cinematography, he wants the audience to feel like they are sort of kind of watching uh, this love story unfold in, in front of their eyes. So the idea was to try to use longer lens so that there's a distance between the, the camera to the subject. It's like when you're in love, you know, you, you, you just don't look at anything else. You just kind of concentrate on, you know, uh, the person in front of you, you know. That's kind of like the feeling we're trying to get. In addition to all the other choices you make, you can also choose to move the camera during a shot. How do you, do you ever use that to help tell a story? Oh yeah, camera movement is very important. Uh, for inside out, camera movement is a big part of the camera structure of how the inside world works and the outside world works. The inside world is um, is a perfect world, you know, it's imaginative. So all the camera movement is very mechanical, it's very deliberate. Whenever it's moving, you know, you kind of predict where it's going. So everything is very formal. Um, and on the outside world, on the other hand, it's more organic, depending on the moment. So, uh, so how we move the, the camera is, is very, very important. And you're also focusing, just like with a real camera, to make sure the right things are in focus. Do you ever use focus as a way of telling a story or the way you focus? Yes, uh, actually on Inside Out, we uh, use focus to trying to add to the imperfection of the real world, uh, Riley's world. Because Riley's world is based on uh, a real location, San Francisco, Minnesota. We want the camera, it just feels natural that the camera should feel real. And imperfection is part of the real world. And something about Pixar's focus is all, everything is always so perfect because we're inside a computer. So we purposefully, uh, in Act 2 and Act 3 especially, when the cameraman is trying to follow an action, we purposefully miss some of the focus and then refocus. You know, so it's just some of the subtlety we're trying to do to try to add to the imperfection. It's something that hopefully the audience can feel, mm -hmm. but not something that they can just say, oh yeah, I can see what they did. Thanks, this is fascinating. Thanks for coming by. Well, thank you for having me, Evan.